Today is a rainy and cold day, but what a beautiful day to enjoy the delicious glass of wine at the Mamarnik Wine Trail. The purpose of the event is there are various restaurants and places of business that participate in this and what they do is they give, put their best foot forward using their foods and hors d'oeuvres that they could you know, have tastings of that people would like and hopefully they will come back and then they serve a little bit of wine and this year we have 18 participating restaurants and new venues that we haven't had in the past. The trolley stops at 18 different spots. There's three on Boston Post Road, and there's 15 or 12 on Mamaronac Avenue. There's one down by the train station, and two uh, or three on side streets that the trolley takes everybody to. It's $50 per person that wants to partake in going around to the various venues, and uh, there are no charge when they go to any of the restaurants or any of the participating uh, venues that they do go to. There is no money transaction. We are here at Pinot Palette and we are here with Chad Smith, the owner. The owner. Uh, Chad, can you t let us uh, let us know about what is uh, what is that you're offering today? Sure. Well, today we're part of the uh, part of the wine trail where we're asking uh, asking uh, participants to come in and we're just going to give them some wine. But what we normally do is we walk you through step by step how to paint a featured painting. We're designed to run a fun night out. So if you have a birthday party or a get-together with your girlfriends or if you're looking for a bachelorette or a corporate party, this is where you come and we walk you through step-by-step step how to paint a featured painting. We have everything ready for you. Just sign up online, show up, you can bring some food, and we've got a great bar here on site, some great music, and it's for a good time. Do you come here every year to the Wine Trail? Wine Trail? Uh, this is our fourth year. Fourth year doing it as a huge group like this, yeah. Are you a resident of Amarnik? Um, no. Not technically. My entire family is from here, and I was born in Urshel, grew up in Larchmont in here, but I don't actually live in Mamaronek. Would you recommend uh, local members to stop by at the one trial? Yes, absolutely. We do it every year. We get groups of people to go. It is so much fun. So much fun. If you want to have fun and drink some wine, please stop here at Pinot Palette to have some fun with your family members and friends. This is the trolley that the members get to take to go to the different local stores to try some wine. Right now, our next stop is going to be Mamaronic Avenue. We just don't know what location it is. Hi, what is your experience today? Uh, this is our third stop here at Modern on the Rails, and so far this, this is like the most amazing stop. We had a glass of wine, we had uh, charcuterie, cheese, uh, tomato mozzarella capri, we had uh, clams, mussels, it was amazing. The food was excellent, oh, the, yeah. the service was amazing. What nice people too. Staff is great. Well, we're known for our brick oven pizza, and we have a brick oven in the back, so we have some awesome traditional pizzettas. But uh, some of our main dishes that we're well known for, we have a bronzini, which is a really nice white fish. We have chicken scarpariello, which has chunks of chicken, sausage, pe peppers, mushrooms. And then we have uh, some contadina dishes, really your Italian signature dishes. And one of my favorites is our new Rails burger. It's Kobe beef, bacon, uh, Cheese melted on top with some onions and mushrooms on a, a brioche bun. It's to die for, you gotta come try it. We really take pride in our wine list. We have over 80 bottles of wine here with a temperature controlled uh, wine cellar. But really, my favorite is uh, a Malbec. Cheers. We are here today at the Good Shepherd Distillery, and I am here with Vinny, and I am here with Carly Miata. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourselves? Sure, sure. We're, uh, we're Porchester residents. We're new business owners here in Mamaronek. Um, the distillery, as she said, is Good Shepherd Distillery. We're making vodkas and brandies. Uh, we're open on the weekends, Saturdays primarily, from uh, noon to 6 p.m. Uh, for bottles, uh, sales right out of the facility, tours, tastings, and, uh, and we're just excited to be part of the business community. We're, uh, we're located on 360 Mount Pleasant Avenue. Uh, we're actually on Stanley. It's a little confusing. Uh, you can find us on the website, uh, www. And what is your specialty? What do you focus more on? 
Uh, right now, like I said, the vodkas and the brandies. Uh, we're also making a cherry brandy that people like very much. Uh, eventually, we'll be doing other things like whiskeys and gins, but right now, those are our, our primary focus. So we actually both work 9 to 5, um, Monday through Friday, so this is our uh, weekend gig here, but we are, are happy to have people in on Saturdays for tours and tastings. You walk in, uh, you'll be greeted by my beautiful wife. She'll give you uh, <laughs> like a, a tasting and things like that, and then you come on down, I'll, I'll tell you about the place and things like that, and you can you know, basically try all the products and see the facility. I'll, I'll tell you how it works, and we'll be happy to let you hang here all day and ask questions. I know it's a one trail, but we are here at the distillery, and we're going to take advantage of that, and we're going to try some vodka and brandy. So we are going to try two brandies, and the cameraman is going to have a vodka. Thank you. Also kind of helps bring out the flavor. So let me get this going. Let me get the vodka, like we said, everything's made on the premises, handmade, hand labeled, hand bottled, and then everything's done 100% from you know New York agriculture. So let me get this one for you. And then um, the one unique thing about the vodka is that it's actually made from grapes. So it starts off as a wine, which is uh, what we've had here, kind of letting guests uh, today take a taste. And um, we you know end up distilling the vodka out of um, a wine from the Buffalo region and um, filtering that and distilling that three times to make a nice smooth vodka. And if it's the vodka, that's just uh, kind of the end of the journey there. And if it becomes a brandy, we take it and we put it in American oak barrels and let it age about six months to become the brandy. This is our fourth wine trail. And uh, we're only here four years. And uh, the wine trail to us is our best uh, customer uh, relationship to our restaurant. We get more loyal customers through the wine trail than any other means of advertising for us. We have a website, 360 American Grill. Um, we're on Twitter and what other the medias are. I'm, I'm the guy that runs the grill. <laughs> we're the Smokehouse Grill. We've been here uh, about six months. We've had our location in New Rochelle for about nine years. And so we're new to the village and we're just excited to like be part of the wine trail and show everybody about uh, barbecue and some craft beer and things like that. So our, uh, our signature wings would be our tailgate wings. They're wings that are smoked and grilled instead of being fried like you typically find bar wings. They're uh, kind of sweet, a little spicy and very smoky, nice and juicy. So Chef, what do we have here? So here we have our burnt ends over mashed potatoes with the pickled onions and mixed cheese. And then we also have our brisket over cornbread with the jalapenos and the barbecue sauce. Oh, this is really, I'm gonna, can I try one? Absolutely, please do. It's really, really, really good. And what about, what's on top of that bread? The bread is uh, sliced smoked brisket, a little barbecue sauce, and pickled jalapeno. Is this a specialty? Yep, we do our smoked brisket every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, okay. Yep. What else will you recommend? Um, other than our brisket, our wings, our pulled pork is delicious. We do a smoked pork belly. Um, what else do we do that's really good? <laughs> uh, smoked pork shank. We do a smoked pork shank over risotto, which is very good. Today we're here in Sedona for the wine trail in Sedona Tap House and we have here Ron. Ron, can you please tell us a little bit about your business? Sure, with Sedona Tap House, we opened up um, last Tuesday. We have 50 craft beers on tap and all in total 500 in bottle. Um, we have incredible food, everything's prepared fresh daily from scratch with the finest ingredients. Um, a broad menu, anything from um, tacos to uh, sliders to full entrees of fresh hand-cut uh, fish and steaks, incredible salads, and a great kids' menu as well. I mean, you can either look at us on um, Facebook or you can go online to Sedona Tap House, go to the locator and hit Mamaronek and it'll tell you all about our specials and all the special programs we have going on. We really don't have a special entree. Uh, we sell a lot of steaks, we sell a lot of um, pasta dishes, we have incredible tacos. We don't have one item that really outsells the other. We really don't. What about when it comes to wine or specialty drinks or signature drinks? Well, obviously we're a craft house. Um, a tap house, so with the 50 craft beers on tap, and we are, our taps are always changing, you'll come here two days in a row and see the same um, beers. Yeah. But we have um, handcrafted cocktails and martinis. We have an incredible happy hour, um, Monday through Friday, um, from 3 o'clock to 6.30. All our craft beers are only $5. Our um, house wines $5. Our handcrafted cocktails and martinis are $6. And our flatbreads, sliders, and tacos are only $6. Same happy hour is from 11.30 to 4 o'clock on Saturday. For the wine trial, trail, 
Um, everyone got a, a $5 um, card to return, the bounce back card. They got a choice of either a, any type of beer that they wanted. Um, we gave them a Citizen um, and also a flatbread. Has the community been very welcoming to you since you're, new in, you're a new local business in Mamarnik? They've been incredibly welcoming. They've been incredibly understanding. We've had some uh, operation issues with, uh, you know, taking care of the volume that's been coming in, but we're happy to be here. And I've been in this area over 35 years, and I know we'll do well here. So if you're looking for a new place to stop by uh, with a friend or your family, please stop by at Sedona Tap House, and they will definitely treat you with respect, and they will make sure that you are satisfied. This was another successful year for the Mamarnik One Trail. We were able to discover new local businesses around the area. We went from painting to drinking, from vodka to wine and brandy. We recommend all of you to support our local businesses and we hope to see you next year for our 2017 One Trail. For The Local Life, this is Veronica Puma signing off.